Hello, my name is Tom Cook. Today I'm going to talk to you about the FATE exam. FATE is an acronym which stands for Focused Assessment with Transthoracic Echocardiography. And uh, it is very similar to the RUSH exam. However, I really think of the RUSH exam as something you do with somebody who's in a critical situation. And this is the type of examination that emergency physicians and critical care physicians can do, but also the family practitioner or the interns working in the outpatient setting in their clinics. Uh, what we're going to do is today use the new Clarius uh, PALHD3 transducer. The acronym PAL stands for phased array and linear array, and it's a combination transducer that allows you to examine almost the entire body with a single probe. We'll go ahead and get started with the FATE exam by looking at the parasternal long axis views. And here you can see the image quality is really fantastic. You get a great view, of the left ventricle, right ventricle, mitral valve, aortic valve, even the descending aorta just uh, deep to the left atrium. Uh, from here we can flip over into the parasternal short axis view. And by angling the probe towards the apex, we can see the apex of the heart, and then we can move or angle the transducer so that it picks up the base of the heart, specifically the aortic valve. To the left of the aortic valve, you see the tricuspid valve. And if I continue to angle the transducer, I can even pick up the pulmonary artery and the pulmonic valve. The next view is the apical four chamber view. Once again, the image quality is fantastic. You get a beautiful view here, this is an apical four chamber, both the right and left ventricle, great way to assess for left ventricular and right ventricular function. You get nice views of both atrioventricular valves. We can go ahead and angle the transducer a bit so we get into the apical five chamber view. And now we get a beautiful view of the aortic valve and the aortic outflow tract. From here, We'll go ahead and move down into the subcostal area. We're going to flip our preset over to abdomen. And we're going to try and examine the inferior vena cava. And you can see that very clearly here, beautiful image quality again. You can see the inferior vena cava as it goes all the way down into the right atrium. Next, we'll take a look the right upper quadrant, what we'd like to do is look for evidence of free fluid in the right hemithorax. You can see here mirror artifact indicating there's no fluid accumulating in the right hemithorax. Next, we'll move to the left upper quadrant. And once again, what we'd like to do is look above the diaphragm in the left hemithorax so that we don't see any evidence of free fluid there. And then we'll move to the last part of our exam, which is to examine the pleura and the lung for evidence of pneumothorax or pulmonary edema. So here we can clearly see a rib and a rib interspace. We have nice sliding there we see that there's no evidence of beelines and pulmonary edema. We'll move over to the other side of the chest. Again, we see pleural sliding, no evidence of beelines. We can also move into M mode. Once again, you can look for sandy beach sign indicating that you do not have pneumothorax. And so there you have it. It only took a couple of minutes. We were able to examine uh, all the chambers of the heart, the valves, uh, both hemithoraces, the pleura, looking for a number of different pathologies to include left ventricular function, right ventricular function, uh, pulmonary embolism, hypovolemia, evidence of pericardial effusion, uh, pulmonary edema. Uh, all of these things are critical diagnoses to make uh, for physicians, either in emergency department or critical care settings, but it's also important that physicians in clinic settings, such as internists and family practitioners, have this capability as well.